You know, after Maurer Toten and the Outbreak update and Death Perception, I thought to myself, there's no way Treyarch can make this game even better. And Season 5 Reloaded looks like it's going to make this game even better. Good morning, beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. There are a small number of big updates that are coming to zombies in Season 5 Reloaded, and we're going to talk about them. First and foremost, the one that I am most excited for, the Rampage Inducer in every round-based map. This is something that will speed up the pace of the game in the early rounds. This is going to be an orange aether crystal that players can activate in the spawn room of each round-based map. Specifically, this blog post says, once activated, this canister will speed up zombie spawn rates and cause all zombies to sprint endlessly until round 20. I am so in love with this idea. Now, the blog post also says something about cranked levels of intensity, but that kind of confused me. You know, if you've never played cranked, cranked has zombies spawning in even the in-between rounds. So even when you're in the in-between rounds, zombies will spawn in cranked. And I'm wondering if this crystal will do the same thing with that. It doesn't sound like it's going to with the specific phrasing that they said, but it'd be interesting to see if they did or not. If they don't spawn in between rounds, I think this is the perfect solution for players who want a faster paced gameplay in the early rounds. The one concern that I have, however, is is this going to affect weapon XP? If you don't know, weapon XP, I guess, you know, regular player XP is valued higher in the earlier rounds. So if this is a way to just speed up those early rounds, this might mean a really fast weapon XP and fast XP earn rate. It could be one of the more entertaining and more e efficient weapon XP grinds out there now. This is so cool. Moving on to Outbreak, we have a Black Chest World event. This sort of sounds like the Ethereal Orb side quest, where it's not going to be like marked on your map at all, but you can just find it randomly within the map, and then you do something, and then it gives you a, uh, a reward. You know, I've heard it speculated maybe it's the Chalice from, I think, the Onslaught mode, where you get like an upgrade in your Pack-a-Punch, which would be pretty cool. I'm, I'm really enjoying all of the rewards of Outbreak. Um, one of my next videos is going to be why you should be playing Outbreak right now, because Outbreak is the best it's ever been, and with this update, it's going to get even better. Additionally, we have the Armada Outbreak region. This is actually pretty surprising to me. I never would have thought they would ever put zombies on this map. This is now our eighth region, which is pretty crazy, um, but this is a really small, close quartered map. I'm really wondering how this is going to feel. This might feel like almost like a round based map, if you ask me. Just playing this map, it just feels so small to me. So it's going to be really interesting to see the uh, they have said in blog posts, like not every single main quest or main mission is going to appear on this map, but that's going to be a really interesting gameplay choice. I, I kind of really and swimming too, swimming, how's that gonna affect you? I don't know, it's interesting. But um, one thing I will say is I hope they do what they did with the previous Outbreak region introduction. They increase the chances of getting those newer maps earlier in the rotation. Because we have eight different regions, if you wanted to play one of each region, it's gonna take you hours and hours of gameplay to get all of these regions. So I hope, at least with the newer maps, I personally, I just love Zoo. So any chance I can get Zoo faster, that's my favorite. But especially when trying to experience these new maps like Armada, I really hope they increase the chances of it appearing earlier. But finally, the meat and potatoes of this update really sounds like Outbreak Survival. Outbreak Survival is a limited time mode where players are only going to spawn in with their field upgrade and the 1911. And either immediately or over the course of certain map rotations, the minimap, the overhead map, and certain HUD icons and music is going to be turned off. Additionally, there will be no natural health regeneration. Instead, players will need to pick up food items to regen their health. Now, I completely understand why this is a thing. This sounds pretty interesting, and I think a lot of people are going to be pretty excited at the concept of this. But, if we're being completely honest, this, to me, sounds so boring. Outbreak is at its worst when it is slow and boring and tedious, and not having natural health regen sounds like it's going to slow the pace down to a crawl. I reserve the right to be wrong, this could be the next best zombie mode and whatever, but to me, on paper, it just doesn't sound all that exciting to me. My tinfoil hat conspiracy is that this is going to be something that they're experimenting with in Vanguard Zombies, but uh, I have no way of proving that, it's just a little idea that I had.
All that being said, I am incredibly excited for Season 5 Reloaded. It sounds like it's going to be a fun update. Like I said, you need to play Outbreak. Give it a chance because it's the best it's ever been. I think Zombies is the best that it's ever been for Cold War Zombies. And uh, man, oh man, it just seems like it's it's just going to get better and better. And man, here in a couple months, we're going to get the next round base map, the last round base map, and another perk, hopefully PhD. And boy, oh boy, this game just keeps getting better. So what are your thoughts on everything in Season 5 Reloaded? Are you excited for Outbreak Survival? Are you interested in the new region? What do you think of the Black Chest and the Rampage Inducer? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to check out these two videos. Thank you all so much for your support. Until the next episode, beautiful zombies morning. I'll catch you with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.